Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. My name is Major James Bodolowski, and uh, Joe is my best friend. He was the most honorable man that I knew. He worked very hard to bring honor to himself, to his family, to his country. Give us this day our daily bread. What can I say about Lieutenant Colonel Paul Michael? He exuded excellence in everything he did as an aviator, friend, and family man. Paul was patient and kind with a calming spirit. And above all, he was a courageous air. aircraft. It's the most demanding flying you're going to do. You're hot, you're heavy, the airplane's at max power, you're really low altitude, and uh, so it's the most demanding flying. Ryan had a spirit that made everything around him glow brighter. You could always count on Ryan for a smile and a laugh. And this is what everyone will remember about Ryan. His contagious laugh and a smile that made everything all right. He can go anywhere on his face and mention his name and everybody knows him. Everybody knew Robbie with that little smile he had on his face. These fallen airmen have left our ranks, but they no longer physically with us. They are not forgotten. Their names are inscribed on a permanent memorial and will be forever in our memory. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Michael, Major Joe McCormick, Major Ryan David, Senior Master Sergeant Robbie Cannon. Everyone wants to have a good body by the summer. Let's roll. Work that muscle. That is everyone's goal. Come on, big dog. They want to be beach ready. Come on, come on. Push them up, push them up. Beach body. Good job. Gotcha. They want to just have the best figure possible to show up. All right. All right, let's go. Got it. I got into working out 35 plus years ago. Get it. This past year, I've uh, been training hard with a friend of mine. Squeeze it. It has not been easy by any stretch of the means. Push. Okay. Ah, you have to be very dedicated. When you go home, have you done your best? That's 20 reps. When you come in and worked out, did you work out like you were supposed to? Push them up. Push them up. When you see a picture of yourself sometimes and just hit me. Yeah. Like, I gotta change. You gotta do something. Yeah, that's it. That was me about three years ago, about 3.15. I said I got fat eyelids. What? Eyelids was fat. Work that chest. Feel it working. Had to get motivated. Five. Good, keep those arms locked. I think it's just hard to get yourself going and motivate yourself when there are other options to make Eight. excuses not Good. to come. You come here because it's hard. You want it to be hard. Like if it was easy, then you wouldn't come. If they don't feel that they can make it through the exercise, I'll do the exercise with them. You can't do it. Yes, you can. Let's not say I can, okay? Good job. Well, yeah, no, less no, no, than 10 seconds. Like, oh, it takes hard work, you know, and dedication to move and and be able to truly get to your goal yeah. and really accept your goal. This is what you got looking forward to right here. That right there. It's still a journey, because I still got a long way to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to think of it as a commitment and a long-term journey, absolutely. Good, you got one more. Because I'm laughing how it used to be and the changes now, and it's funny to look back on. I post that picture in the mirror every morning so when I look up I see that picture then that's a reminder of what I used to look like and I ain't, and I don't want to go back there. This is marvelous. Mar for real. It, everybody can work out and they can achieve One health. Good job. There we go. High five. Come through the door I'll take care of you from there. Did you pre 
Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. How, how you doing? My name is George Curtis. I, I was in the Army for 20 years. Once you come out of the military, it's kind of like a different world. And there's a lot of business in Greenville. At one time, I felt, you know, by myself because I said, you know, I don't have a job. Oh, so to go from one plant to another one yeah, right there. But to see, you know, other guys in the same, you know, position, I, I, I was kind of like, okay, so uh, I'm not alone. Are you handing out resumes? Can I, I take one? You sure can. So I'm, I'm just hoping to get my name out there, my resume. Okay, there you go. Thank you, George. This is our career search site. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sydney. So I haven't had a problem finding a job. I was wondering if you're looking for anybody in communications. I've just had a problem finding the jobs that I want. So if you want to go here mm -hmm. and apply for, for that Matthews or Monroe position. Okay. It's, it's interesting to see that they set something up specifically for that group of people because we do have a different work ethic than a lot of people do. There have been a lot of different opportunities and it seems like it spans pretty much every field you could be looking for. I'm glad someone is out there looking out for us. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Nice meeting you. You can never give up because there's always somebody looking for your specific skill set. You just have to keep putting it out there. Ready, I hope somebody will give me a call, give me a chance. 